Days after a Dana aircraft crashed in the Iju Ishaga area of Lagos State, southwest Nigeria, the management of the airline has come out to refute claims of negligence. The managing director of the company, Mr. Jackie Haitramani, explains that regular checks are usually carried out on the airline's fleet before being certified fit to fly. He goes on to clear the air about insinuations that the ill-fated plane had faults and was grounded in Calabar, adding that the airline's engineer also died in the accident, thereby ruling out the allegation that the aircraft was not certified to fly. For a long time to come, the events of Sunday the 3rd of June 2012 will leave a sore memory in the hearts of many. While so much is going on within the country to at least determine why we had 100% fatality, the CEO of Dana Airlines have broken his silence officially in this room. We are as determined to get to the bottom of this, to find out exactly what happened, and we will. And when it is known, we will share this with you. The only way that aircraft could have crashed if it lost both engines. That's speculations. At this point in time, we don't even know the cause of the crash. The flight data recorder and voice recorder has been retrieved from the crash site and has been sent abroad for investigation. Well, that may not be what most people want to hear, so the floodgate of questions were opened. Did the regulators do their job? How fit was the plane? Was it on a ferry flight? Did the engines pack up suddenly and many more questions? Mr. Hatriamani, in an emotion-loading voice, attempts some answers. Captain Peter Waxton, First Officer Mike Rathor, the cabin crew, Vivian Uche, Oni, and Eke. We all knew them so well. Our thoughts and prayers remain with the families and friends of the departed. We will continue to do our best to assist them in every way possible. The, the NCA do perform audits on the airline unannounced. They could, they could do an audit every week, every month. And it all depends. It's independent done and we are not advised when they're coming. This aircraft was not the one that had any tactical malfunction uh, in Uyu or it was grounded. The days that the aircraft, and I think it was two days prior, the aircraft was in a scheduled maintenance called one of the HX and thereafter the aircraft was released for flight. The previous aircraft that everybody's referring to that had declared an emergency, it's a different aircraft which is uh, 5N SRI, and that aircraft is mo momentarily in Istanbul going through its heavy annual compulsory sea check. Uh, the brand of airplane, as you know, is an MD-80. There are nearly 900 of these flying currently uh, internationally. More than half of them are owned and operated by American Airlines and Delta Airlines. In fact, they have uh, their average age of their fleet of those aircraft are even more than ours. And um, even the age of our fleet is, uh, is not considered to be uh, any issue at all because even within the country here, you have aircraft flying even more than the age of this aircraft. If it is true that the aircraft didn't have technical malfunction before departure, and perhaps all said here is the true position of things, then the only seeker for many will hinge solely on the outcome of the investigation by the federal government. That I'm sure everyone wants to know. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.